as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 115, When God Makes Up Deficiencies, April 17th. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. 2 Corinthians 6, verse 1. We are to be partners in the work of God throughout the world. Wherever there are souls to be saved, we are to lend our help, that many sons and daughters may be brought to God. The end is near, and for this reason we are to make the most of every entrusted ability and every agency that shall offer help to the work. How the angels must feel as they see the end approaching and see so many of those entrusted with the last message of mercy huddling together, attending meetings for the sake of benefit to their own souls, and feeling dissatisfied if there is not much preaching while they have little burden and are doing little for the salvation of others. All who are indeed united to Christ by living faith will be partakers of the divine nature. They will be constantly receiving from Him spiritual life, and they cannot be silent. Life always shows itself in action. If the heart is living, it will send the lifeblood to every part of the body. Those whose hearts are filled with spiritual life will not need to be urged to reveal it. The divine life will flow forth from them in rich currents of grace. As they pray, as they speak, and as they labor, God is glorified. It is not the most brilliant or the most talented whose work produces the greatest and most lasting results. Who are the most efficient laborers? Those who will respond to the invitation, Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. If men to whom God has entrusted talents of intellect refuse to use these gifts to His glory, after test and trial, He will leave them to their own imaginings, and will take men who do not appear to be so richly endowed, who have not large self-confidence, and He will make the weak strong, because they trust in God to do for them those things which they cannot do for themselves. God will accept the wholehearted service and will Himself make up the deficiencies. Angels are listening to hear what kind of report you are bearing to the world about your Heavenly Master. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.